And welcome back. Last time we were doing this thing. I did some prep work, I got rid of the gate. Let's see if we can actually do this. I think you go faster jumping, so I'm gonna just, like spam jump. Oh what the hell? Am I not supposed to take those over there? Is it because I jumped too much? Is the game mad that I jumped? Or do I only get the speed boost for like a couple seconds and I have to run the rest of the way? Normally, because I would kind of suck. I think I've double tapped the jump, that's why. I think that's why. So let's try this again. So since I double tapped the jump, it gave me the the flight. This reminds me a lot of see, this whole game reminds me of Mario 64. I have ghosts that we can This place is huge. Like why is this place so large? It, it is not this large outside. I'm sorry. Are you gonna What's up ghosts? You guys gonna do anything? Like they're not I'm not attacking. There we go. Jump. Shit, I'm wasting all my feathers here. There we go. Wasted like three extra feathers than I needed to. Ooh. Like, who sits here? That's my question. Unless it shrinks us to come in here, which would make sense. It's kind of like this weird little parallel universe doll box or something, but otherwise. If we like to think that we're a normal sized bear, who sits here? Is Gruntilda that big? I don't think she is. She doesn't look that big in the scenes or whatever. I mean, are there giants? Is there secretly a race of giants? I think this is something out of Dark Souls 2. Okay. I have no idea. I didn't take damage, right? Not in full life. Okay. Yeah, this is another situation where I just feel like recording, because I edited Two Human Part 14. Just put that together. It's kind of a long episode, it was 50 something minutes. And then when I was doing that, I was just. I was enjoying editing. I was enjoying just the act of making a video. So I was like, alright, it's time to go and record some, some Banjo Kazooies. But the other thing that sucks is like I had a nice rhythm before I started, I had this plan and then like when things don't go according to plan, because I like to plan things out very meticulously, when things don't go according to plan and schedules and stuff like that for me, then I don't mind adapting and I don't have trouble too much adapting, but it notably throws off my, I don't want to say my rhythm, but definitely it throws off my existence in some capacity. I don't know how to play the piano. This looks like it has less keys than a normal piano. I don't want to like step on these. I'm just gonna hop up here. Frickin' that's a master hand over there. Okay, I don't- I see- oh, it's a flight pad. It's like, I don't remember what the blue one is. Alright, it's just- Play the keys? I'm sorry, I can't read sheet music, so I don't know how to play this. Do you want to help us, little hand? Moat's hand <laughs> plays this organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Alright, lay it on me, Mozart. I can't believe you're so slow. Oh. I'm supposed to- I thought you like go and then I go. Okay, my bad dude. I'm sorry, I didn't understand the rules of the game. Once again, I'll play my tune. Keep on trying. 
Oh, he'll get it. Oh, he's so he's so helpful. Like I have to hit it when it's still blue. Is this one right? I thought he's gonna play like a couple keys and then I go. I just have to get it before he gets the next one. He's gonna go faster, watch. Now watch me copy this tune. And amazed I'll be. He's gonna play some sick. These all sound the same, dude. I don't mean to be rude. But all your keys sound the same. I don't know if you need to tune your piano. And there's always that joke. What's the difference between a piano, a tuna, and a bottle of glue? And they say you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Or sometimes they say you can't piano a tuna. And then they go, well, what happened to the glue? And you say, I knew you'd get stuck there. And then everyone goes, oh. So take this golden piece of mine. Let me turn on my, my TV real quick. So I couldn't hear that too well, but it sounded like these were all the same key. Right? They are. Just sitting here beating on your piano, but still, man. You gotta get this checked. Assuming we come up here, this, this is the only, like... Logical progression path and the skeleton. Oh, he's down there. Okay. You can chill down there, Skelly Bro. No! Actually, is there anything back here? Ooh! That was a, that was a happy accident. No! Okay. So, I know a video or two back I was talking about recording stuff. Or like new equipment and all that. I want to get a new mic, and an audio mixer sounds really fun. But then, I said before I was gonna look up to get new component cables or whatever for my Elgato, so I could record my PS2 games. When I was on Elgato's website, I saw a couple interesting things. They had the component cables. I could buy those. I'm just ten bucks. It's it's honestly like a component to, I want to say an S-Video, I can't, I'm not exactly sure what type of plugs on the Elgato, but it looks like an S-Video plug. And so, that's all it is, it's just converting. And it's 10 bucks, I could probably find it at Radio Shack or Best Buy or something if I went into their wiring section. So there's kind of that, but then the interesting thing I saw in there for another $10, they had a... cable that said capture party chat oh, there's a flight pad why do we need a flight pad there's stuff up there there's a gin bro so can we get there from there I think so yeah it said capture Xbox one ps4 audio chat or party chat or whatever I think it was for ps4 too it's definitely for yeah I think it's for both and that was another like 10 bucks, that's, you know, whatever. And it was this weird looking cable. It had like an analog plug, plus like two other wires on it or something. I was kind of confused by it. I was also confused because my Elgato HD does not have a... It does not have a analog audio plug thing. When I say analog, I mean like that little, like kind of brass looking one that's got the two rings or whatever like you plug it's the same thing that's on your speakers for your computer it's one of those plugs and the Elgato HD doesn't have one of those and the reason I say the Elgato HD is because that's the one I have I've had it for a couple years now actually for like a year and a half I think actually two years I think I've had it for two years was it two years I want to say it was two years I've had it for two years yeah I've had it for two. Oh shit bats 
This is like the treasure trove of goodies up here. It's a good thing we found this. Just got a text. It's probably freaking Magic the Gathering. That game is really fun. The, uh, not the original Magic the Gathering. I'm, I know that's fun, but I haven't played that in a while. But that phone game I was talking about, Puzzle Quest. That was pretty fun. And they kind of, like, make you grind it out by your heroes, like your planeswalkers. Any damage they take, they have to recover it over time. Or you can heal them with potions that you get periodically or whatever. And that's just to prevent you from grinding the hell out of the game. Which is kind of cool and then kind of dumb. I mean, it's a phone game trying to make money, so I understand that. They don't want you to just blow through everything immediately. Even though there's, like I said, a ton of grinding in that game. Like, at the start, it's pretty quick. Like, you get levels, you get card packs. All that goes pretty quick. You get through a lot of the story boss encounters very quickly. And then, like, after the first chapter... Maybe the first two chapters, in terms of the story... Like, the story isn't even an actual story. It just has, like, a little couple lines of lore. And then you fight someone that just has a... Like, you fight an AI that has a pre-made deck. So it's nothing, like, crazy. I'm sure it's gonna bug someone that I'm not collecting everything up here. I just got another text. Oh, damn it. It's okay, we got a lot of HP down here. Yeah, and like, my phone gets notifications every time that thing... Like, every time I play and I take damage or whatever and I just... Like, I'll play a game or two, and then I'll walk away from it. And then I'll get notifications from it, so I need to find a way to turn that off. That's probably what I'm getting texts about. Let me check my phone, though. Okay, so one of them was... I guess I got two. One of them was magic. The other was a YouTube notification. So what do we... What have we not done here? I haven't done... I haven't figured all of this out over here. I got, please tell me I got the Jinbro. Was there a Jinbro up there? Did I just... Oh, my... Oh, my God. No, there's no way. There's no way. I think I saw a bat. I had to have seen a bat. I refuse... I refuse. I refuse to believe it. I really don't want to go, like, pop the... the thing again, just to get in there. Here we go. It's like, how do you... I feel like you have to drain this. I don't know how. Because you can't make that. Then you have this. Like, there's a way to drain this. There has to be. Because the only thing that makes sense. Oh, you're not. Maybe not. You just have to not suck. I guess that's what it is. So what have we not done in here? So I think we have seven jiggies. We have stuff up here. We haven't gotten to Mumbo yet. I don't know how to get to Mumbo. Okay. Is there anything here? Oh, just wall. Yeah, the reason I was talking about the recording stuff is because when I was looking up those cables on Elgato's website, they have... I didn't know this. Oh, I can just jump this, huh? They have a new Elgato model. Oops, I forgot. I forgot about the, the rose wall. They should get us the rest of the stuff in here, hopefully. Hopefully. I was going to say, I have plenty mumbo. Don't even try and play that shit with me. Do these torches change color based on the level? I don't even know. No! Is there nothing up here? To get? There's just... There's a gold feather. Thanks, Mumbo. Your true pal. Yeah, they have a new... Elgato has a new recording device model. It's the Elgato... Game Capture HD 60, aka 60 FPS. I'm a freaking pumpkin. 
I'm a proud of pumpkin spell. I'm a freaking... I'm a freaking squash. With shorts. I feel like a Spongebob character. But we can go through this shit. We can jump through this shit. We cannot be seen in the grass. Unbeknownst to them. Pumpkin has no attacks. No! Leave the pumpkin alone. So what do we do with the pumpkin? That's the big question. Are we immune to the rose wall? Probably not. Oh, we are. Why do they do that? They just make it so like the transformations are very helpful. In terms of dealing with the level, the terrain and stuff. Yeah, so I was talking about recording stuff and what I want to get. Like, I want to get the mic and the audio mixer and all that, and then it's like... Together, that'll set me back about 150. Not that... Not that the money is a huge... Huge deal for my hobby. Oh, shit. I... I can't even see. I love the camera. There we go. Just gotta jump, I think. Okay. But then when I saw this Elgato device. It was about 180, which is what I paid for my gaming HD back two years ago. And now the one that I have is worth like 140 or so. Which doesn't bother me. I mean, I know that product value depreciates over time. That makes sense. I'm trying to look at... I think I did everything in here. Oh, can I go in the... Okay. It's just, it's weird to use the transformations because you kind of don't know the limits, but you just kind of assume. Was I supposed to do this? Did I, like, make my life harder? So I could have just did this and grabbed everything? This is scary as hell, by the way. So I just made my life harder by coming down here in one piece, which is cool. I like that you have choices. At the same time, it's kind of sucks. How did we get out of here before? Did we swim through this? No, we didn't. We just, like, jumped out, I think. Oh, we climbed out. Okay. So we could have just did the pumpkin and made our lives easier. I probably should have, like, took down all the doors before I went pumpkin form. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back and, like, Transform out, let me take the doors off. That'll give us more explorations. Is there anything I can do? Like, can I jump in this window? Ugh. Just wanna look. Just let me look back here. Oh. Ooh. That's too slow. Yeah, the new... That's 60 frame per second. And it made sense because... When I was playing First Sin, and I recorded that First Sin video, like, the First Sin edition is in 60 frames. Or at least it's higher than 30, that's for certain. And then when I recorded it, it capped out at 30. And so I was like, is it something in my Elgato settings, or my console settings, is it something like that? But, it actually turns out that my Elgato caps out at 30 frames. So... I like crack every joint in my hands. What that means is that I have the option of getting this Elgato 60 frame bitch specifically because of Dark Souls 3. It records in 1080. It's at 60 frames. It is a capture device built for the PS4, Xbox One generation of consoles, so... And I was sitting here talking about quality of video for Dark Souls 3, so I'm, like... I'm really, 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 really considering it. I'm honestly probably gonna do it. Not immediately, 
because I'm not working right now. Like, I go back to work this week, next week. Like, Thursday is my first day back. And I have to deal with that shit again. And so, and then I have school. Like, that's, that's what sucks. Is school's gonna come up at the same time, and I'm gonna spend at least... How much am I gonna spend in school? Like, it, I'm not gonna spend a lot. So I'm not trying to, like, bitch about that. Did I take down every door like I wanted to? There we go. I've been in here. I've been in there, 100%. But let's just double check. There we go. Did we even lose a feather? <laughs> that is so fast. I wonder if I have to come down here with the pumpkin. Doesn't look like it. Like, I want to find something. Like, I know the pumpkin has to do more, because so far I haven't needed it. We can't do anything in there. Ooh, get that, yes. Yeah, so, like, in school I'm going to spend at least $500 on the semester. Which, like I said, isn't a whole lot. Especially compared to, like, actual universities. But I have to keep that in mind if I'm gonna make big hobby expenditures. Because, I, obviously, school comes first, so having to spend money there is gonna be the, uh, the big killer. I know I've been here. I just don't know where to go now. Definitely done that. How many... I wish I could tell how many Jiggies I got on the world. I'm missing one of the Jin Bros. Like, there's... There is one big thing that I'm missing. I know that I am, and I just haven't seen it. And it seems kind of weird. That I don't... That I don't see it. Well, let's just get our pumpkin form. And run around. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of torn on that. Like, I think by April I can afford all of it. I may have to pick up some extra days. Cover some shifts, which is something I hate doing. Just because I don't usually miss work. And I'm just, I'm... That's kind of what I was griping about in terms of Smite. The reason it pisses me off sometimes is just because... I usually at least pull my own weight. Not just in games, but like, whatever I'm doing. Like, if I'm in a group project, or if I'm at work, I'll pull my weight. And I might do a little more for other people, I don't mind picking up slack here and there, but... I hate... I hate pulling my weight, and then having to do someone else's job. At the same time. Like, that really bothers me. And I didn't, I didn't hit the door. Not that I need to. I really don't need to hit that door. But, like, I said I was gonna do it, I ran around, I did, like, 16 things, I forgot to hit the damn door. Like, at work, the thing... You know, it's like, I don't like to work harder than someone else and have them get paid the same amount. Like, that's the kind of shit that really bothers me. Because, like, I've worked for supervisors. Not the supervisor I used to have. My boss at work got fired, and I've actually been really irritated about that. She got fired for literally no reason. Like, we think someone above her was threatened because she was doing so much for the center. That's just the assumption. Because she, like, doubled... She did some She did some crazy stuff. Like, she doubled tutoring student attendance in the year and a half that she was there. And then she... Obviously increased a lot of revenue. She had a lot of donations made by other centers because she was really aggressive in that. And she was one of the few people... Like, she was the hardest working person I've ever worked with. Like, when I say that, she... You know, we're... We work at an after-school center. And she worked 40 hours a week, I think. Like, 36 or 40 hours. I want to say 40. And she would work those 40 hours, or whatever. And then, on her days off, she would still be contacting schools, book centers learning centers, she'd be researching things, like, she would still be doing stuff for the kids in the center, and that's, 
one of the most respectable and commendable things I've ever seen. And everyone loved her. No one had anything negative to say about her. She, like, you know, blood, sweat, and soul for her work and what she was doing. And then they fired her. For no re Like, they didn't tell her why they fired her, because in California we have quote-unquote at-will employment. A.K.A. you can be fired whenever for nothing, basically. Which is really stupid. I need to pop that other thing. I really don't know where to go here. I'm kinda lost. So I'm gonna take like another look around at the stuff. Yeah, so she got terminated. And it kinda sucks because we're... It's like in our best interest not to talk about it. Not that anyone's threatened us or anything, but... You can just kind of tell it's one of those things where, like, we shouldn't discuss this openly. So, it's really bothered me. It's made me not, like, I need the job, which sucks, because otherwise I wouldn't work there. Just on principle. I was so pissed. Like, she was really upset, and I was pissed for her. But that's besides the point. Like, the thing I was getting at is, like, I've had other supervisors... Like the job I had before this one where I would do my job and then like I was staff manager sort of like mostly I did some like other stuff but then the people I was supervising I still had to do their shit a lot of the times which bothered me like they just and it wasn't because they didn't have the ability they were just lazy as fuck and so that bothered me and then my man my supervisor the person above me that worked you know at the school she didn't do her job half the time, so I had to do her shit. And so she would just sit in the office and answer emails, and she thought that was working. Like, she'd get an email every, like, half hour. And it was just, like, her supervisor going, so how are things? Basically. Or, like, oh, we have to do this by next week or something, or we need this report. We need this budget. Or something. And then it was just... Like, her, which, like, that stuff was not difficult. Like, you know, it sounds like, oh, budgets and stuff like that, but it's like, it's not, it wasn't difficult. I've seen it. I did, like, one thing with it. But it never seemed overtly difficult. I have no idea where the hell I'm going, or what to do. Okay, this is what I wanted. Like, what is there left to do? Like, I've done everything in there. I feel like. I've done everything here. I've done the stuff on top, I've done the stuff inside. I did all the flower pots. I did the well. I did that thing. I got the gin bro. Like, I'm missing... I feel like I'm missing a building. That's what it is. I feel like I'm just straight missing an entire building. I, I went in the cellar. If I took the pumpkin out, what would it do? Like, how would taking... Ah, there's this down here. That's right. Forgot about this. Okay, the just little freebie... Have a jiggy. Oh, come on, man. This is so troll. Are you kidding? How do I... No! No! Fucker Mumbo! Like, what do we do? Oh, I, I bet you I know. Yeah, we drop in on it. So that makes sense, so we have to get up. So we got on the house. From this way, that's right. So, oh my gosh, I have to walk all the way around and do stuff? That's okay. That's okay. We, we found something. I'm happy about that. We found... That was somewhat well hidden. I want to give props on that. Yeah, so... Just all that said, I don't want to have to pick up more days at work, but I'm going to have to. Plus, I'm going to have to change my schedule anyway, because school this semester, my classes are obviously going to be at different times. 
I have... I have a class on like Tuesday, Thursday, like evenings, like 4.30 to 6.30. So I'm gonna have to... So that means I just, cause I normally work Thursdays and Fridays specifically, like I'll pick up other days. But usually I just work those two days so I can focus on school. But I'm gonna have to Okay, so I'm gonna have to pick up more. I'm gonna have to change it anyway, because I can't work Thursdays. So maybe I'll do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something. Oh, that would suck. I just need a new job, honestly. I just need that. <laughs> like my job doesn't pay well, the I enjoy the work. And usually money's not a huge concern of mine in terms of like I have to enjoy my job. It's not how much I get paid. So popular. No, I'm kidding. What was I talking about? Alright, so we're 34 minutes. We're probably gonna cut out like five minutes of this, maybe two. Can I pick up the shoes? While I am. No, I can't. What am I missing? Like, I don't feel like it's here. Yes, let's get the pumpkin... ...other places. I still have to take the pumpkin out... ...of the... ...of the level to check it out, but... ...yeah. Anyway, like I do... I feel like I need to pick up more days. I'm gonna need to, just so I can... ...cover school. Like, I can cover school right now. I, I'm not worried about that. Like, I have three... The reason I'm saying is, like, I have three major things I want to do financially. I want to pay for the semester, that comes first, and I can do that. And then I'll have a little bit of extra money to... I could either buy the recording device and do that. I could jump into these pots, can I? Oh, this is so dumb, and they just don't... Okay. This is actually shitty. This is really shitty. Like, I guess I have to clear these with Banjo and not play the frickin' pumpkin. I wanna jump in the pots, but like when you can't outrun the tombstones and they're just gonna kill me, that's just, it's actually stupid. Like there should be threats, I'm not saying that the game shouldn't be threatening and I shouldn't have the ability to die, but like having the inability to do anything because the pumpkin has no moves. Like the alligator had the bite attack. I missed that. I straight missed all. I missed twice. Fuck me. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. Ooh. Getting our ass whooped. I'm gonna try and jump in these pots. That's the only other thing I can think of right now. So that takes two hits instead of three. It's much stronger. There we go. And then you. Where are you at, you little bastard? You're right there. Oh man. Oh, you got him. Nope. Look, look how helpless you look. Look how helpless you are. You can do nothing. I want you to remember that from now on, forever. I guess let's... I don't think we got... I think we got what we needed from doing this already. Let me do it again, though. Like, do we need a... Is there a grave that we need to break open? Like, some Zelda shit? Gotta play the, uh... Zelda's lullaby. Get into the graveyard. Get the sun song. Deal with some re-dead. I don't know. Oops. Yeah, so, like, after I pay for school, it's either... I can either get all the audio stuff... Cause it's gonna run me about the same price, like a hundred something. Like almost two hundred dollars. So I can either get all the audio stuff, 
or I could get the new game capture. But it's like, do I need... I don't need the game capture until... August. So since I don't... Or not August, April. Since I don't need it until April... I think I'm gonna do that second. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do all the audio stuff first. And then once I get all the audio stuff, I'll save up a bit, and then I'll get the... Which call it the uh, the game capture. I'll probably get the game capture by March, and that's the thing. I'm not gonna need it for these games. I can't even. I don't think it's gonna be like super helpful for these. But then also, the other thing I want to talk about is the. What you call it? The uh, the new Elgato, like the one I have now, has that plug for the component thing. So I can play the older games, like, just fine, which is great. And the new Elgato does not have that anymore. Like, it's strictly for the new the new generation consoles, or the current gen now. People get butthurt when I do that. Like, when anyone does that, it seems like, when you call the... Because we were calling them next gen for so long, that when we call them next gen now, now that they're out, people go, it's current gen now. It's like, alright, dude, calm down. I get it. Shit. But, yeah. <laughs> Can I jump in the nose? Just jump in Mumbo's nose. Hmm. Can I break this? That makes sense, right? These are all boarded. That's like the only not boarded window. Unless it's just for effect. Huh. This one too, this one's open. I hear a frog. Like, the frog may be meaningful. Like, this is how... much I'm really trying to figure out what I'm missing. Is I hear shit. I probably shouldn't even be doing this with this dude, honestly. I, I know this is a horrible idea. I've been in here. I haven't seen anything in here. Yeah, let's just go. I want to deal with these. So I guess... I don't know. I'm out of ideas. I'm going to take the pumpkin out of here and then I'm just going to move on, I think. I spent two videos in here, so I don't want to spend too much more than that. I don't know how we open this. Oh, fuck! That scared me! Oh, my God. That scared me last time, too. But it was, like, a different one. I just didn't notice. And so it sucks. I can't, like, leave, kill it. Like, I can't leave, transform, kill it, and then come back. Oops. So I don't know if I can, like, sneak around him. I don't think there's one back here. So I think we're okay. Like, what is the pumpkin for? The pumpkin's been, like... The last couple transformations have been just... Worthless. Like, you get a couple things with them. And then you do nothing. Like, the termite, you took it outside to get something you couldn't reach. It's like, okay, that made sense. I really feel like... This is either the end of the game in there, or something. Or... That's a secret... And that's what I'm saying, like, I feel like I'm missing an entire building in the mansion level. And that looks like another building over there. So I don't know, the mansion level kind of woke my ass. There is definitely stuff I'm missing in there, I'm sure I'm going to get comments and shit about it, but hopefully we can take this far enough, because I saw that little thing over there with Gruntilda's sister. I'm pretty sure we can take it out there. I really don't want to, like, run at the camera, because I know that we run out of ledge space. Okay. But then the other thing I was talking about, the little party chat connector cable thing. What it's supposed to do, there's actually a couple tutorials on this on YouTube. There are a few different ways. One way to get party audio for Xbox One is to use Skype. 
Another is to use your Kinect as the microphone, which is shitty for your friends, because they can't... You sound like you're in a fucking blender when you're talking to them or something. And then the other is, I didn't notice this, actually under the Xbox One controller next to the uh, the headset jack. Spellbook. You look really scary, Mr. Spellbook. Gunji's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Cheeto the Spellbook, you have found. Magic sheets I have for you. Hey, Book Brain. What did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book? Finders Bear and Bird are. Spell they get. You sure do, Bag Lady. Come on, Book Boy. Give us the spells! Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code. Red feathers on sandcastle floor in treasure trove code. World, help you, it will. Hidden in lair, other spell books are them you should find. What? Them you should find, yeah. Oops, why did you hit me? I, I thought we were friends, stop it. So that's... I think that's cool, it just sounds like it gives you full red feathers. I mean, the code is called frickin' red feathers. Can I enter Jiggies or something and get, you know, Max Jiggies? Or Jinjos? Or Jin Bros? I don't know. Yeah, the Xbox One controller has a uh, one of those analog audio jacks, so it looks like, or that's what it looks like, so it would fit. But there's the YouTube tutorial talking about doing some other shit to, like, I guess you can buy a different kind of adapter for Xbox One, which is like the exact same headset adapter. That's the only thing that sucks about Xbox is they use a lot of propri uh, proprietary, I think is the word, equipment. Which basically means all of their plugs and shit are unique. So you can't use other cables. Like, if you want cables to run things, you have to buy their shit. Like, the Kinect plug is unique. The Xbox One headphone thing, little control panel, it's a USB thing, but it's like this huge... Or it's like this weird USB size thing. And it's got this little control panel on it. And you plug it in through the bottom. That's fine. Let's just... Let's get out of here. But I guess you can buy a quote-unquote adapter, which is the same little mic control panel thing, but it has a little audio jack. It's a stereo converter or something. Basically, it's so you can use your, like, your cool headsets, like your Turtle Beach, your Astros, your Tritons, or whatever, on the controller, because there's no other way to do it. And I'm going to wrap up the video here, but... So you can either buy the Elgato cable to do it, or you can... There's a actually a pretty in-depth YouTube tutorial where you can buy, like, three different cables, and then you get that converter, and then you can run it, so... I don't know, but the party chat thing isn't on the Elgato HD, also. So I'd either have to do the Skype thing, the Kinect thing, or whatever to get party chat on my Xbox One, or I'd have to get the upgraded one, the HD Xbox One thing. Or the HD, the 60 frame recorder, that's what I would need. Because that one has the analog, but then it doesn't have the S video plug or whatever, so I can't play the old game. So it's like, I have to get the other one at some point to make, like, it, I have to get it for the future to make better videos. Which is cool, but then, money. So, <laughs> I know I was kind of scatterbrained this episode, and I didn't get a lot done, so I kind of apologize for that, but, yeah, that's what's going on. So next time, I'm going to try and find a new world to start in. Let's actually go and pick up that Jiggy real quick. Oh, it's right here too. Oh, how do we... Oh, do I need the flight pad? I'm going to be so sad if I need the flight pad. I think you can just drop into it, right? I'm going to get ran up on by the other guy. Oh, I think I have to fly into it. It's actually kind of crappy. It's actually really crappy. Maybe not. Let's see. So that jump peck attack notably does a lot more damage. Your feathered buddy that you've brung. Useless like a pile of dung. Ugh! Gruntilda. Yeah, we have to fly into there. That's actually annoying. So next time... I think I'm just gonna like 
start the episode with like flash, fast motion flying into that puzzle piece. And then I'll start from there. So yeah. Next time, probably another world. I have to find out. It's starting to get harder to like get to these places and find stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.